Today we do something quite interesting and we will develop a film up on R100 film. I picked this up like uh, four years ago. I also purchased uh, the developer kit that comes with it and these, this is uh, like the original film up on R100 uh, chemical. What is so interesting about this one is the fact that this is a black and white slide film which I really really like. I, I used to shoot a lot of black and white but mainly negatives. I've shot slide films before, color slides but I never tried black and white slides before. So when I found this, which was in 2013, I shot five or six rolls, um, mainly when I was in a trip, and developed them, and I hugely enjoyed the very, very uh, complex developing process. Somehow this one roll survived, and I found it recently, and I loaded it into my Fed 2 old Russian rangefinder camera, which has no light meter, and of course shooting slide film with a camera which has no light meter might not be the best idea because you know slide films like when you get the correct exposure but I was like okay this film was lying around for four years and the chemicals are four years old maybe the whole thing is not gonna end up with any any good results so I decided to go forward and try this in the old Russian rangefinder it comes with with instructions from upon I think is manufactured in the Czech Republic therefore uh, it has Czech language but it has a detailed instruction in English and in German as well. And of course the chemical. This, as you will see, comes with quite a few bottles. B is a double component solution. We have AC and D here. What I also found quite important about these films that they do not really tolerate if the, if the working solution is very hot. The description that comes with the developer that tells you how to process it tells you that you can work with a working solution of about 20 degrees Celsius and you can go uh, plus or minus 5 Celsius. I would never ever go above 20 Celsius because I, I did try that and it ruined my exposure. I would rather look at lower temperatures and be very gentle with the film. What is also very interesting in this process is the fact that the film needs a re-exposure. So the entire developing process comes down into two main parts. In the first part you use working solutions A, B and C and then you re-expose the film which means that uh, you will put it to light on both sides, uh, you know, so those parts of the film that have not reacted with light can do it. And then uh, solution A will go back onto the film and then uh, the D solution will go onto the film. And then of course typical rinsing as you are used to it with other film developing. So it's complex, it's long, it takes a lot of chemicals, it's just fun. And the best part of the whole thing is that you get a positive image on a film and you can project on the wall. Okay, so now I'm going to mix the chemicals for developing this film. The first one is developer A. We're going to prepare a working solution for just one roll and that's going to be 330 milliliters. We're going to add 300 milliliters of water and 30 milliliters of developer A. Okay. And that's it. This is solution A. This is developer A. This is some quite nice color, and this is 300 milliliters of water and 30 milliliters of developer A. Okay, now we are going to mix the B solution, which is going to be more complex because it's going to have 300 milliliters of water, 30 milliliters of developer B1, and 30 milliliters of developer B2. And then we are done. This is working solution B, and it contains 300 milliliters of water, 30 milliliters of B1, and 30 milliliters of B2. Okay, we are continuing the process with uh, solution C. Solution C is a cleaning bath and making it going to be quite simple. We are going to take 300 milliliters of water and 30 milliliters of the C component. And there we go, we have solution C, which is going to be the cleaning bath. These are all the chemicals that we are going to use uh, for the first phase of the developing process. But for the second phase, we need also solution D. This is going to be a fixing bath. Making this going to be very simple, we ha we're going to need 300 milliliters of water and then 60 milliliters of the chemical D. Okay, this is solution D and we are all set and ready for developing the film. So what comes now is the usual thing. Uh, I'm going to load the film into the developer tank and it's going to be done in complete darkness. We're not going to see that, but as you can see now, everything is prepared here. This is the film waiting for its fate. I have the spool in which the film will be loaded after I open the canister and taken the film out. And then the spool goes into the tank 
and of course here is my phone for timing. Okay, so everything went fine and now the film is loaded into the developing tank. And the first step is to use the developer, which is solution A. This goes onto the film. Developer A is going to be there in this tank for 12 minutes. So I'm going to pour it out in five seconds. Uh, just remember that we're gonna need this one for the second phase of the developing procedure. So let's not waste it and it goes into this jar. The next one is solution B. Which is gonna be there for eight minutes. Okay, eight minutes is up. We are ready for solution C, which is uh, the cleaning bath. Okay, and this guy is going to stay there for three minutes. The three minute cleaning bath is over. So now we are rinsing again. And this is the end of the first phase of the developing. Okay, so this is one of the most interesting parts of this developing because usually when you develop a film, then you know if the uh, pictures are on the roll only at the end of the developing process. And here, now, I will have to re-expose the film, so I will open the tank and I will see if there are any exposures on the film or not. I don't know if the camera can see it, but this film looks very much wide, but there are exposures on the film, there are pictures on this film. So this is the re-exposure phase of the developing, and I'm going to expose the film to light again. Uh, probably now you can see I have to expose both sides to light. Now maybe you can see that there are images on the film. Okay, so the film is on the spool again and we are going to load it back into the tank to start the second phase of developing. We are back to the developer, which is solution A, which will go back, the very same solution will go back on the film for five minutes. Five minutes is over, so rinsing again. And finally we arrive to D. Right there, yeah, D is the next one. This is the fixing bath. D is only used in the second phase of the procedure and this is basically the final chemical that goes onto this film. Of course, I'm gonna have a little uh, detergent bath at the end so that scanning will be easier and there will be no dirts and uh, stuff like that on a film. This is going to be on a film for four minutes. So the final fixing bath is done. Now basically the developing is done. So uh, very thoroughly we are going to rinse the film and let's see the result. Let's open the tank. And yes, we have beautiful results, just as I remembered of this film.